Hi, okay, you guys want to know some other books that I've read? Because I like to read. <laughs> okay, so as you know, I'm in a sales role and I really like sales. And at the end of the day, I believe that everything is a sales role. So the next time you get a cold call from a telemarketer, ask yourself before you get all mad at them, well, hey, when's the last time I called a friend and they weren't expecting it and they were kind of like, oh, hey, uh, I, I love you, but you're kind of catching me at a weird time here. That's a cold call, bish. Even though they know you, you know them, we're doing cold calls all the time. I actually prefer cold calls. Um, it's really hard for me to like text people like, yeah, call me at four. And then at four on the dot, something's happening. It's just like, no, you know what? Just call people. Just throw a net out there in your professional life, in your personal life, throw out the net and see what life gathers. Okay. That's like my rant for the day. But this book that I wanted to talk about was, um, the closers survival guide by Grant Cardone. So like I got this for like I just paid shipping, it was free, um, cause there was like this awesome sale on Twitter. <laughs> I saw it and I clicked on it. Um, this is a really super interesting sales book. I read a lot of sales books. This one in particular talks about that, that critical moment in a sale where it's all about closing. I am um, in my growing my skill set and my path. This used to be a really scary time for me and get like anxious and just like I would grip the bat too tight um I've been feeling a lot more relaxed now and just focused and so I feel my skills kind of honing in here um and I really appreciate this book um for the wisdom that it shares with me so it's just talking it's not the theory of sales and the first you know, and calling people, and this is how you overcome objections. This book is specifically for that critical point in the sale, because the sale has, each sale has a cycle, right? No matter what the uh, context is, it looks differently, but each cycle has a closing, critical closing point. And so that's what this covers. Um, and it's the assumption is that you've already qualified the person, you have the right buyer in front of you, and now it's time to sign the dotted line or enter the credit card information in the computer, and it, there's, there's stuff that's bubbling up. So they're not completely sold yet, right? There's just something we need to do to kind of like move it along. Um, and so to give you some examples, there are a ton of different closes in this book, little like lines. Um, that the book encourages you, the author encourages you to just kind of memorize them. So I read this book, I, I reference it. I wouldn't say that I've memorized them, but it definitely adds to my grit and my kind of style, my language after reading books like this. So, um, so my three favorite closes are if someone were to say like, hey, this is a lot of money, you would say, yeah, I agree it's a lot of money. And you knew that before you got here. I need you to sign here and here. Or I need you to click next and proceed to the next step. So it's like agreeing with them. Number one, rule in sales. And I actually do this in my personal life too. Like, oh yeah, hey, I'm with you. I hear you. I agree with you. And... And then you move the ball along and it agreement first works just across the board. So if you hear me doing that with you, thank me. Okay. And then anyway, uh, the second, the second close that I really like is the unwind close. So this one is about like flushing out whatever the true kind of deeper concern is. And it says, okay, hey, no problem. I tell you what we can do. Let's just put this off. Let's put off making a decision for a while. Okay, how does that feel? Feels good, right? I always go through the same thing myself. I know what I want. And when it comes time to making that final decision, I get scared and I'm afraid I'm doing the wrong thing. So tell me this, do you really believe that this satisfies all your needs? Okay, and can you afford this even? Okay, good. Uh, so the question is, do you believe that you deserve to help build your company or do you deserve to treat yourself, whatever this is? And that's one of the things that I, that I love about this book. It's applicable to all different kinds of industries. They have some things that are kind of 
quite literally for real estate. Um, some things are quite literally for insurance. But it's really cool to read like the language that some other fields might need. And it's just, just as a business-minded, increasingly business-minded person, it's a super educational book. I'm really into it. Okay, so I know I said I was gonna read three closes, but it, this is starting to feel long. And I wanna keep you engaged, not enraged. Okay, so closure survival guide. Um, one last note that I want to talk about that Grant brings up here is if, as salespeople speaking to you, if you identify in any way as a salesperson, entrepreneur, or person, whatever, you have to kind of be comfortable with saying yes and being closed yourself because we're always on that other side of the coin, right? You have to be comfortable with if you know in your gut that you're going to do it sooner or later and that the thing legit is good for you, just do it now and don't prolong it. Because when you build that muscle of making a decision quick, that's actually a very successful mindset trait. Um, being indecisive is, is a hindrance and can be a liability. So just owning, stepping into your decisions, owning them, and then yeah, sure, if there are problems that happen from that, freaking take responsibility and learn from that. But waiting and getting smaller and kind of hemming and hawing, not hot. So yeah, I've, I've been doing that as well. So yes, I ask people to buy from me 40 plus freaking hours a week. And I also say yes. So gotta be what you wanna see in the world. Bye y'all. Love ya.